you just want to create a little bit of intensity just on the corner of the eye and placement is key you want to keep it on the tip of the corner and going gradually into the crease of the eye a lot of people will go farther out or try to go into the crease a little too much so you just want to keep it on the end this creates that soft little Z uh, um, sorry the soft little V and then do the same thing on the other side and this really gives her a more um, dramatic crease. All right, so the next step, we're actually gonna take uh, a blending brush and go back into the crease where we just placed the eyeshadow. We're gonna take the brush and we're doing the same technique that we did before. So we're taking that back and forth motion and doing big circles. Now you really wanna emphasize the circles on this part because this is what's gonna create that soft blended look. So you're going from a medium a color to a dark color and then you have that light brightness in the tip of the eye so it really brightens it up. Same thing on the other side we're taking the tip of the brush and just wiggling it and smoothing it out. A lot of people get frustrated um, when they're blending because they're like oh it's not blending or they blend too hard or they wipe off the color. What you want to do is just soft even strokes. If you mess up, it's okay. All you can do is just clean the brush with a little tissue and just lightly brush the, that brush back and forth. So it, then you can have a clean brush, go back into the eyeshadow and blend it out. Don't use your fingers because everybody wants to just be doing this all day. And that really messes up the eyeshadow. It actually um, puts more oil on your face and can create that patchiness that you don't want. So it's, keep it clean, keep it smooth and just if you want it less, just keep working in it and blending it out. So, and you want to keep it as even as possible. All right, so we actually just finished doing the crease, so now we're going to go into highlighting. Um, I'm going to be using a shimmery eyeshadow, and it's just a nice champagne color. We're going to go right under the brow bone and use a blending brush. I like to use one with a little bit of a curve just to mimic the shape of the brow. And what we're going to do is just go to the tip of the, uh, the brow bone and just wiggle it through. You want to go into the crease, but not all the way through because you want that eyeshadow to go into the highlight. Now we're using a light champagne color um, to highlight her brow bone. So we're going to take that color and we're going to blend it right underneath the brow bone. I like to use a brush that has a curve so it mimics the eyebrow. And we're just basically going back and forth and smoothing out the eyeshadow. You don't want to go too into your crease because then it blends out the eyeshadow and you won't see the definition. So you want to keep it as close as you can to the brow bone and then blend down softly. So now we've finished with the eyes. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use eyeliner uh, to really define her eyes. Um, I like to use a gel liner and a angled brush. What you want to do is take the product and kind of dab the tip of the brush right into the product so it goes on the top part of the, uh, um, the actual brush. I like to use my hand as a palette just because I am an artist, but you know, when you're at home, if you have like a little um, flat metal plate that you can use or something that you, it is a flat surface, you can. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna actually go from the end of the, her eye and I'm gonna go as close as I can to the, the lash line. What I'm doing is slightly pulling across her eye and I'm gonna do it to the center of her eye going towards the inside of the eye. Now I'm going to flip the brush and we're going to go away from the eye. Um, the reason being is that you want to keep the tip of the brush really close to that inner corner and then just gradually pull through. A lot of people try to do this in one stroke but it's not recommended. It makes it harder for you to get that perfect line. So you, you want to flip that brush back and forth and just kind of smooth it together. You're kind of linking the two to give it that smooth, even flow. Same thing on the other eye. Right. All right, so 
now we've finished with the eyes. What we're going to do is kind of clean up underneath. Um, this is one of the reasons why I do eyes first. Um, you always get a little bit of fallout right underneath your lash line, so I just kind of clean it with a clean brush and just wipe off any eyeshadow that is loose or fallen or anywhere underneath that, you know, anything. that could be just powder or whatever. So. I'm going to have her look up for me, and we're going to use a concealer brush, or, well, I'm sorry, a blending brush instead of a concealer brush. Um, I like to use a soft bristle brush to do concealer because it looks smoother and gives it a softer finish. Um, the way I apply concealer, I go really, really close to the lash line, and then I kind of go to a V going down towards the cheekbone. It gives it a highlight, and it also looks really beautiful once you blend your um, foundation all over. So we're going to uh, take the brush and just go lightly right underneath your lash line. And I'm using it very softly. You don't want to do any hard strokes. This, of course, this is a very delicate area. And we're just blending it down towards her cheekbone too. All right, so we're just taking a little bit of the concealer going um, to the edge of your lashes. And then we're going to pull it all the way down towards your cheekbone. This creates that beautiful highlight. I'm going to smooth it out really nice and smooth. Sometimes if you put a little bit too much product, I like to use my fingers and just lightly sweep it down and just pull it away from the face. Now that you've concealed, uh, we're actually going to do foundation. Um, I actually like to use a soft bristle brush again for foundation. I pour it directly onto the brush. Um, I take the brush and I'm going to um, start from the cheek area and kind of work my way through. And I use big circular buffing motion so that it looks smooth and it looks airbrushed basically. So it makes it, uh, um, the face look seamless and very easy to blend the, the concealer into the foundation. You have a primer on your skin, Okay. So we're actually going to set the foundation using a, a powder. Um, I like to use a mineralized powder. Um, some people like to use a flat matte powder or a high definition loose powder. Um, what I tend to do is take the product. You want to have the same color uh, close to the shade of her skin tone, but a little bit lighter so it doesn't look overly powering. So we're just going to dust this all over her face and just lightly smooth everything out and gives it a nice matte finish. If you're oily, you can um, definitely use a powder and then use your blot powder for touch-up. Don't use your foundation powder for touch-up because then you're layering your foundation on top of foundation. So a blot powder doesn't have any color, it just takes away shine. So now that we've finished doing that, we're going to actually go into uh, contouring. And I like to use a little, a little bit darker shade um, in the... The, the cheekbones. So we're going to do that by using a bronzer. And what you want to do is kind of um, from the ear down to the lip. This is the angle that you want the, the bronzer to go. Until then, I just keep dreaming. 